What's up, people? How's everybody doing? Anyways, today we're going to have ourselves a good old American um, shootout. Now, back, you know, when I was a kid in my Dungeons and Dragons days, when we would stay up for days playing Dungeons and Dragons, we didn't eat, sleep. We only played Dungeons and Dragons for days and days and days and days on end, you know. If one of us ended up having a problem with somebody else or, you know, the other guy, what we would do is we'd whip off the Sega Genesis and we'd play Street Fighter and we'd, you know, best man won, you know. that That's how we should settle it. So, today, um, and because we forgot to hit the record button earlier, um, what I need settled is I don't know if... I don't, I don't know which which bottle of moonshine is going to be my favorite. I got no clue. So, like I said, today we're going to have a good old-fashioned American shootout right here. And we're going to um, unbox these contenders right now. So you could uh, see for yourself who's going to be in tonight's competition. Now, this is just going to be based pretty much on, um, on taste, okay? Um, now, if you, if you know me, I, ne I normally don't drink for taste. Like, if I drink beer and wine, it's never for drinking for taste. It's always to drink to get obliterated. But because there's enough alcohol content in, in uh, this moonshine, um, it's going to be a little bit more about taste. You know, which one goes down smoother, which one I like better, so on and so forth. So, um, and like I said... We forgot to hit record earlier, so, you know, the box is already uh, cut open. So, the first contenders are going to be, let's see, this is uh, Sugarland. Sugarland, Sugarland Shine right here. This is just a sour mash right here. Let's see, this is going to be 100 proof. 50% alcohol by volume, right there. I don't know if you can see the, uh, if you can see that or not. Hey, turn on that light right there. See that light on the wall right there? Go hit that light. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so here we go. That's Sugar Shine right there from Sugarlands. And then we got, let's see, Sugarlands Shine right here. This is Mark Rogers. He, he's got a American Peach right there. Now, in the series, television series, Moonshiners, Mark Rogers, he's definitely my favorite character. He's the guy I enjoy watching the most. He's the guy that I think, you know, it's just all around better than everybody else. Uh, just based on, on everything, okay? Now, this right here is some more moonshine, right? And this, this is, this is all uh, Belmont Farms Distillery. Yeah, so the first one that we got going on is going to be Virginia Lightning Moonshine, okay? This is a corn moonshine right here. This is a corn distilled and bottled at Belmont Farms, Cold Pepper, Virginia. Okay, this is also moonshiners related right there. And I like how they put the little handle on that so that you can watch it or... So you can hold on to it. And this right here, this is Virginia Lightning. This is also a corn whiskey, but but it doesn't say anything about being a, being a moonshine, but it's corn. So I'll take it. And then this right here, this is uh, Butch Holler. Now this right here, this is 101 proof right there. 101 proof. Okay, Butch Holler. That's what I'm talking about. I'm going to put this box right here underneath me because what's going to happen is I'm going to end up spilling moonshine and it'll catch inside the box and not on my girlfriend's floor. Oh, I got one more. This one right here. Let's see, who could it be? It is uh, Moonshiners related. Here we go. Climax. Tim Smith, Climax. Because he's from Climax, Virginia. Or at least that's where the recipe comes from. It's Climax, Virginia. Now inside, 
if you can if you can see inside there's actually a picture of Tim Smith and I'm figuring he's standing next to his father um, it looks good there's other stuff in this picture in here um, that I can describe to you but really you'd have just better off buying your own bottle and checking it out for yourself because seeing is believing and uh, yeah so what we're gonna do we're gonna put this to the side and we are going to start this great American shootout. Where'd my shot glass go? Here we go. All right, so up first, we're going to go with uh, Mark Rogers because I like Mark Rogers because he's an awesome moonshiner. And I just, I love watching his segments. Those are my favorite segments from the show, Moonshiners. Okay. He's got uh, American Peach Moonshine, 70 proof. All right, so it's not very, it's not very strong. I done already busted the seal open because we forgot to hit record. So we're gonna do this again one more time. Woo. And you know what? It smells fantastic. Look at that. Bink. Right, so we're gonna put this down right here real quick so I can get the lid back on the jar. So if I spill anything, I'm thinking I'm going to put these inside that box, just in case. Okay, here we go. Here we go. To This is to all you um, Southerners out there making the best moonshine. The world has ever known for generations. I respect you guys. I respect the South. I respect your flag. Everything you guys are about. You guys rule. It's about heritage. I know it. Your legacy. Your culture. And uh, you know what? I salute you. I appreciate you guys. You guys are the best. Absolutely. Absolutely beautiful. Is it going? Is it recording? Okay. All right. Um, so that was Mark Rogers. Um, sh shots, shots are fired. <clears throat> All right. Now we're going to go with Sugar Land's other brand right here. This is going to be just a uh, Silver Colorado Tennessee Sour Mash. So it's going to be a Sour Mash Moonshine. So we're going to break the seal on this. Oh yeah. This is a hundred proof. I'm spilling already, guys. Little driplets here, little driplets there. I can smell it. You know what? I feel it already. Already, bam. Just all of a sudden, like this one time, I was riding my bike down this big old steep hill, right? And back then, my whole theory was brakes on a bike are for pussies. So, <laughs> yeah, I got smashed up against the wall like an Arby's freaking sandwich, let me tell you. I was going, it was either left, or if I kept going straight, I was going to go right to traffic. So I went left, hit a wall, poof, head on. But that's, that's not the first time I hit a wall or, you know, ran to something because... I didn't have brakes. What do I need brakes for? I had two good shoes. All right, guys. Here we go. Shots fired number two. Mm -hmm. Woo! That mash is sour. It's good, though. I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. That feels, ooh. <clears throat> the whole world just stopped right there. It's like, <laughs> all right, guys. Now, let's see. What do we got? We got plastic on these. This is going to be uh, Virginia Lightning Moonshine, okay? This right here has got plastic on it. Hey, get it. Do not. Let's see, what's the proof on this one? This is 45 
percent alcohol by volume also 90 proof okay so we got that and then we got Virginia lightning this is 100 proof this also has some plastic on it and then this is the butch hauler traditional double distilled corn whiskey made in genuine copper pot still made in a genuine copper pot still and this right here this is 101 proof i don't know if you can see that but that's 101 proof right there see right now i'm trying to stall why because i just drank like four shots i know right only two of them on camera all right so we got that and uh we're gonna play a game of eeny meeny miny mo all right we got our climax okay so we're gonna go eeny meeny miny mo catch a tiger by the toe if it hollers let it go eeny meeny miny mo okay this is gonna be some climax right here All right, Tim Smith, here we go. All right. I'm already jacked up. It's been a while since I drank or did anything. So, right now I feel like I'm complete and total lightweight. But I am old and fat, so. All right, here we go. You ready? I'm ready. Five. Four, three. It's good. It's definitely good. Oh, yeah. That is freaking delicious. Oh, a little bit about Tim Smith <clears throat> as far as the show goes. I love Tim Smith, man. He's, he's great. I, I freaking love the fact that he went from illegal to legal. And he's trying to do something legit, you know, for 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 his family. And um, that's the way to be, man. That's the way to go. You know, he's trying to do things right. Much respect, much, much love for uh, Tim Smith. Great guy. Okay, so let's see. One, two, three. We're going to get at least six shots in, and at the end of that, I'm going to tell you what. I'll tell you which is my favorite, second favorite, and maybe even a third favorite as far as as far as they go. As far as a city slicker like me is concerned, because you know what? Although I don't wear labels, you know, there's a lot of people who are country would, you know, consider me a city slicker. Now, um, man, I totally forgot what I was going to say, and I forgot the point I was going to make, but... With all things said, I'm looking at that butch holler. So let me see. Should I do the butch holler, the Virginia Lightning, or the corn moonshine? Let's see. We're going to go with corn moonshine right here. Go. Oh. Smells good. This is 90 proof. Before we go any further, <clears throat> I want to tell you a story. This is a story of one of the first times I ever got drunk. How old was I? And really, I never started drinking until I was like 29, okay? But, I mean, when I was a kid, I drank like uh, once or twice. So, <clears throat> so anyways. <laughs> the first time I got drunk, I got drunk off a six-pack of lower brow, um, like a pint of vodka, and I remember eating all this candy. 
And uh, we were going somewhere, and the people we were going with, we, we all piled up in the back of his car, right? And we were driving, and I'm sitting there, and we're talking, and all of a sudden, I'm like, I got to stick my head out this window, or I'm going to just lose it. So I lost it all over the side of his car, man. It was just all over the side of his car, right? I went home, I walked inside, and uh, I was drunker than anything. I mean, you you look at me, you knew I was drunk. The way I was standing, trying to stay up, I mean, it was just, it was just bad, right? So that was the first time I got drunk. Um, there's been there's been other times I got drunk, but none of them were as memorable. Blackout! I really had a blackout um, because they they just weren't as memorable. I couldn't remember a goddamn thing, you know. <clears throat> but I remember that one. I remember the first time I got drunk. That was just insane. It was off low and brown. I don't even know if they sell low and brown anymore. That's how old I am. Oh. I'm just, I'm babysitting now. Okay, here we go. All right. This is corn. I got a better story for you, I promise, okay? Actually, I'll tell you that better story right now. No, we'll wait. Okay, no. Just remind me, it's the pinball story. Hey, remind me, it's a pinball story, okay? All right, here we go. You guys ready? Smells good. Look at that. Bam! Smash beans, baby. And if I lose it, I hope I lose it live here on camera. Well, we're not live, but you know what I mean. All right, here we go. And because I record on my phone, the thing is, is that it's all just one cut, you know, just cut, 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 cut. There's no editing. Not until I learn how to edit anyways. All right, guys. And if I learn how to edit, my videos will probably be a whole lot better. Here we go. Here's my next story. My story is this, okay? Now, long, 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 long time ago, and you know how the rest of the words of that song go. Anyways, I love pinball. I've always loved pinball. Back when I was a kid, the cops were always looking for me. Not, not for something that I had done, but for things that that happened around me that other people were engaged with, but somehow I got mixed up in all of it. Okay. Now, when I see them, I bolted. I was gone. Okay. I wasn't anywhere near them. Okay. I never seen flashing lights. I never heard a siren. But, you know, every day, all the time, I was in the liquor store. And at that time, when I was a kid, they always had uh, either pinball machines or they had video games, big old, you know, um, these big old boxes with video games in it. You stick a quarter in there, you can play Pac-Man, uh, Dig Dug, Galaga. Um, one of my favorite video games of all time was one called Black Tiger. Gauntlet was another good game. Um, but my weakness was pinball. I was always in there playing pinball, right? Um, someone would say, hey man, the cops are coming. I was gone, right? I'd be walking down the street, I see a cop, I was gone, I was just, I just disappeared, it's a disappearing act, right? So anyways, <clears throat> one day, I'm sitting there, and um, I had done a bunch of DSL, or DSL? I don't know what it's called, but some of you might be able to rearrange certain things and know what the hell I'm talking about. And I'm sitting and I'm playing, right? And then, all of a sudden, you know... You know, people start putting the quarter up on the machine because that's how we did it. If you were playing a game and you put your quarter up on the machine, they were next, okay? That's how we did it. And what happened is there was like five of them, and then they just grabbed me, took me down, put me in cuffs, and took me to the station. That's how they caught me, okay? They didn't caught me, you know, in a, in a, in a chase. They didn't catch me by um, showing at my door. Nothing like that. They knew that I like to play pinball. They figured out I like to play pinball. 
So they walked in in plain clothes. They, a lot of them were already, already in there when I walked in there, right, in plain clothes. And if I were known their cops, I just would have been gone. <laughs> and for a disclaimer, uh, none of these conversations are natural or, yeah, I played a fifth. <laughs> so here we go. So yeah, no, they took me down, they took me to the station, and that was the end of that. Okay, I know. That was like the worst story I've ever told. Two in a row. And you think that when I get drunk, I tell better stories. I got better stories. I swear, I got better stories. But a lot of these stories that I can tell you right now, they would, you know, say it's adult content and you can't have it on YouTube. And that's the thing is I totally miss YouTube. I miss YouTube the way it used to be. YouTube used to, um, you, you had freedom of speech. You can, you know, question things. You can make points. You can have discussions, you know. But now if you, you know, do, if you debunk arguments on the left, then it's considered hate speech, you know. And that's another thing is, you know what, this week I got hit with a hate speech. I had mirrored a video by uh, Coughlin666 or Coughlin616. It was the NFL or NJF or whatever the heck it was. They said it was hate speech, okay? Now, <clears throat> you would think that YouTube would be would send you a notice like saying, hey, we think this is hate speech. Would you mind taking it down or we're going to strike you or, you know, something like that. Give me some forewarning, but... They're all, we took it down, and if you do it again, you know, you're going to lose your account. I'm like, really? Come on, guys. So YouTube really isn't isn't what it used to be. I remember YouTube. YouTube was, it used to be beautiful. It was a place where, you know, you can have free speech, where you can, you know, argue against people, where you can question people, where you can question the narrative. You know, now it's just either play inside the box that we give you, or you can't play at all. Uh, and, you know, in, in hit throughout history, in any society, the people who advocate and are for censorship or mind control or legislating what kind of things you can say or not say, in any, in any time in history, those guys, they've never been the good guys ever. And what's really sad is that at this point in time, people... What they do is they play sides. They don't use common sense no more. They don't care about, you know, what's going to benefit me and mine. You know, now people are like, oh, because because of spilled milk, you know, the whole factory has to be taken down. Because of spilled milk, nobody could ever, you know, you know, wear these kind of shoes or, you know, have those kind of things or, you know, whatever, you know. But... The bad guy, the bad guy's all over it, and he can do whatever the hell he wants, you know. But anybody who thinks outside the box that the left has encased you in and tells you that it is for your own benefit to be in this box, if you think outside that box, that's it. You're out. And YouTube is a huge, it's a huge outlet. You know, but I try not to get political. I try to just, you know, keep it cool. Because, you know, I just want to keep it cool. I just want to make videos and have fun and do whatever. But um, if you've made it this far in this video and you're still watching, put down in the comments what your favorite song is. Put down what song you think I should be listening tonight or any other night. You know, what do you listen to when you get, when, when you drink? You know, what do you listen to when you smoke? What is it? You know, what is your ear candy? You know, what touches your heart? Um, I love music. Music has always been my heroine. I love all kinds of music. I love anything that sounds good. So now I'm getting ready for another shot. I know we're getting we're getting drunk. We're we're so drunk. We're gonna get a one in one off of all of these. This is this is the stuff right here. And uh, <clears throat> I tell you what, I bet you I can get a cheeseburger tonight <laughs> for this. No, anyways, uh, this is worth more than a cheeseburger. This is good stuff right here. I like this. 
this is definitely definitely in my top five right here i'm not gonna tell you when and where but it's definitely in my top five this is good stuff what i like about this belmont farms is that they go from from their field they grow their own ingredients and they use their own ingredients to make their alcohol and i think that is just the greatest thing ever in the world all right so here we go i got more stories more crappy smash bean stories because smash beans makes the worst videos ever and i tell the worst stories ever um this is what i pride my my my, my channel on <laughs> okay so we got a uh, virginia lightning 100 proof this is 101 proof so we're gonna save this for last okay so we're gonna just go ahead and uh try and take this off where's my I know I got my box cut around here somewhere. Where did I put it? All right. I don't need it. I will tear it apart with my fingers. All right, guys, joke time. Are you ready? And these are jokes that aren't funny. All right. What's the only kind of jelly that you can put on your toast? See, I messed that one up already. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> What's the only kind of fish you can put on your toast? And it explains itself at this point. All right. And the answer is going to be jellyfish. I totally destroyed that one. All right. This one right here. This is the whiskey, and it does not have a cork. This is just whiskey. You can smell the difference between the moonshine and the whiskey. Wow. Big difference. All right, I got another, um, another joke. What do my swear to gym class? Squeakers. Where the big chimney say to the little chimney? You're too young to smoke. <laughs> yeah. Jokes that aren't funny with smash beans. I should start a series. <laughs> Alright guys, here we go. We're going to try the whiskey. This is also from uh, Belmont Farms. And uh, yeah. It's actually got a picture of a still thumb keg. And uh, I should know this. <laughs> I've watched all 10 seasons. Condenser. Still, thumb cake and condenser. This is Virginia Lightning. So this was something about, I think what I read is that it, um, it's ran through the, through the, the, through the still twice for a smoother taste. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and put that there. And we're gonna wait. Let's see, do I have any more jokes that I think are not funny? I know you guys want the funny jokes, right? Yeah, not gonna happen on tonight. <laughs> okay, I got a story for you, all right. One time me and my friend, we were driving down the street well, we weren't driving down the street. We were on a bus. And um, <clears throat> we were way in the back. And there's just one guy, you know, straight out of prison. He had tattoos all over his face. He had a scar from this side to that side because they had, you know, slit, slit his throat in prison. And um, anyways, this guy was just, you know, marbled with muscle all over. I mean, this, this guy was huge, right? He was just huge. And, and he had a, you know deep rough voice his voice didn't even fit him no more because it looked like because you know because of probably because of the way he cut his throat but anyways he was preaching at us you know as you all know i am a christian i love my lord and savior jesus christ jesus you know turned water into wine and popcorn turned wine into liquor <laughs> But anyways, no, he was, um, 
he he was going through through AA and he was trying to share, but he had been in and out of prison his whole life. And you know, now that I think about it, I, I'm thinking maybe you know I, you know, probably added to the negative element of his life. But anyways, he was going through out through AA and um he was all you know just like angry you know saying you know you know when you drink and you just want to beat the out of somebody me and my friend were looking at each other like no nah, no you know i was like dude when i drink i just i just want to you know listen to good music eat good food you know when i drink um but anyways yeah and then there was another lady you know and don't forget i'm christian right but although i'm christian i don't i don't celebrate um I don't celebrate Christmas because to me Christmas is a dishonest holiday. And the thing is, is uh, this lady she was trying to push Christmas on me, but you know I was listening to her, and um, I was trying to help her, you know, be as polite as I could. But because we didn't have whatever it was that she was looking for, she you know called back and said that I was saying bad things to her or whatever. I was like, you know, I don't care. If, you know, I mean, my whole family celebrates Christmas. I don't. It's just cheaper that way. <laughs> and, you know, I, I don't celebrate because it's a dishonest holiday and, you know, all that good stuff. And not, no, I'm not a Jehovah's Witness, but clearly in the Bible it says, do not bring a tree into your house. This is what the Bible says, okay? I didn't make it up. Read your Bible, you know? And according to atheists, that's what makes an atheist. And um, going back to the whole Coughlin thing, you know, being a Christian, I like listening to the other side. Okay, I like listening to arguments against my beliefs, against my points, because you know I got to hear the other side. If there's if there's that side and there's another side, you know, you got the atheists saying what they say, you got the agnostics saying what they say, you know, and if there's another side where there's where there's a third point to all this, I'm open. I am totally open. But the sad thing is is is, is YouTube nowadays is you can't you can't make that third argument, you know. I mean, yeah, right now it's fine to discriminate against Christianity and it's, you know, it's fine to discriminate um you know, anything that, that anything that's outside of the left, you know, it's fine, you know. But, you know, I'm a liberal Democrat. I'm straight up a liberal Democrat. I've been a Democrat most of my life, okay. The only time I, I, I switched sides was so that I can vote for Ron Paul, okay. Because I, I remember watching the atheist, or not, yeah, the amazing atheist, when he came online with his first, you know, uh, Ron Paul bashing video. I had to watch it, you know. I, I watched uh, Amazing Atheist for a lot of years. I like watching atheist videos, you know. I like hearing what they got to say because they make some good, strong arguments. But, you know, nothing, nothing can ever come in between my personal relationship with my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. You know, I, I hear, I, I, you know, I follow through my Bible with what they say, and, and and yeah, it's all there, you know. But I've had real experiences with the Lord. You know, I'm sorry that they have not. You know, or maybe they have and they're just blind to it. I don't know. You know, I cannot speak for them. You know, I will not try to convince them. But me and mine, um, I lose, I lose my point. I forget what I'm going to say, you know. Um, but anyways, I love Jesus. It doesn't matter, you know, because Jesus really is all that matters. And, um. Your personal relationship with Jesus is what matters. And, you know, you got to do what makes you happy. And that's the other thing is, you know what, reading the Satanic Bible, if you have not read the Satanic Bible, you really should read it. It's, one, very interesting. Two, the guy makes a lot of a lot of good points. There's Three, there's a lot of common sense in there. I mean, it's, it's just um, epic how he takes all this stuff around you and just makes common sense out of it. If you want, if you want to read something good, you want to read something interesting, read the Satanic Bible. You know, I'm not saying convert to to Satanism or anything like that, and I understand, you know, the why they do the things that they do. You know, and currently, I guess right now, uh, Peter Gilmore is actually the head of uh, the Church of Satan, and I can't remember the name of his book, but I read it. It mostly was about um, about music, 
that they listen to and um, how they're actually atheists him and Anton you know well the Church of Satan anyways and you know Anton you know he drank water he didn't he didn't drink any of this and they listen to classical music and a lot of classical music that he mentions in the book that he wrote um, Peter Gilmore I've actually listened to and it's really good you know so if you think the class, classical music is crap uh, buy a copy of Peter Gilmore's book, the first one that he wrote, and I can't remember the name of it. But in it um, has a whole list, man, of uh, really good classical music. Take take that, listen to it, and uh, I, I believe that it will change your opinion on classical music. All right, guys, here we go. We're going we're gonna to do this. I'm just freaking on fire right now. I'm just, not only am I on fire for the Lord... <laughs> But I'm on fire, man. This, this stuff is just whooping me. I, I ain't had it this bad in a long time. long time. I wouldn't be surprised if I, if I lost it later, you know. Right now, I'm okay. But, you know, later I'm going to be like, ooh, baby. Be worshiping the porcelain god. All right. Here we go. Ugh. Strong, strong, strong stuff. Man. This is 100, 100 proof right here. <clears throat> Put your holler away. Put your holler. Celebritymoonshine.com Check this out. This also comes from uh, Belmont Farms. I'm thinking they got a hold of a recipe and they're like, ooh, let's try it. Let's cook it up. And you know what? Um, <clears throat> some of that moonshine that comes out of there, 110 proof. 110 proof. I'm like, wow, that's got to be something. That's just got to be something. And if you notice, this right here, it doesn't look as clear. Maybe it's, maybe it's me. Maybe it's me. Let's see. Okay, let's look at there. Definitely, it definitely looks a little different. Let's see. And this has a cork in it. Oh, man. That smells beautiful. That smells like the stuff that dreams are made out of, right there. <clears throat> All right, so one time I was walking down the street and I got a shaved head, right? So back then, everybody and their mama thought that I was a skinhead. You know, um, they didn't understand that I shaved my head because why? It's easier to shave my head than it is to maintain it. Now, I have, um, and I don't have any, I don't have it around me, and I should have grabbed it, but this is totally, this video is completely impulsive, okay? Um, I ha I've had hair down on my nipples, and maybe I'll make another video and I'll show you pictures where it's down on my nipples. Um, so anyways. Oh yeah. The thing is, is, uh, I forget. Okay, so I had hair down on my nipples. This has something to do with me shaving my head. I shaved my head. Oh, yeah. I shaved my head because it's easier to shave my head than it is to, to you know, maintain my hair. So I was walking down the street, and this, this guy, this big old buff black dude, right? And uh, he's all, you skinhead, this, that. You know, I was like, no, I'm not skinhead. You know, I'm not even white. 
right? And a lot of people don't know that I'm not white. A lot of people mistake me for being white. I'm like, dude, I'm Mexican. But before I can finish my sentence, he was just pa 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 pa, right? Beat me up, pa 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 pa. I was on the ground. I was pissed. I was pissed. I got up and I said, you know what? Yo, mama. I was all, your mama hits harder than you do, you little, right? It was on again. It was all pa 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 pa. You know, beat me up. I went down, right? And I'm I'm all hitting the pavement, and I, I can feel his his fist on this, and then my head on 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 the cement, right? And I got up, and I was and I was all, you, you know, you you, piece up, you know. And I was like, what 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 are you swearing for, man? I was I was like, is it because I I pull out your mama when you're this big and beat you with it? And um, this time this time. He stuck my head through some glass, and I can just feel the glass outside. And he was still beating me, and I didn't want to open my eyes because I was like, I don't want glass in my eyes. And he, beat, he beat me down pretty good. you know. But at that time, with, with the glass on my face, I was like, you know what? I'm just going to stay down this time. I don't, I don't want to mess up my eyes, but yeah. The trials and tribulations of Smash Beans. Anyways, guys, I'm going to put my Venmo and my um, Cash App. And at some point, I'm going to have a PayPal. If y'all want to buy me some vegetables, <laughs> woo, that would be much appreciated. But meanwhile, we're going to check this out right here. I'll pour a little bit of that. And I'm going to tell you right now, this does look a whole lot different from everything else I've been drinking tonight. Uh, let me tell you. I freaking work like a mad dog. I work hard. I work often. And I'm tired. I get home, I can't fall asleep. And that's my problem is I can't fall asleep at night, you know. But I've been an insomniac my whole life. And um, I lay there. But when I do sleep, I have incredible dreams. I love my dreams. I think I might have talked about my dreams in another video that I have not released yet. And that's the thing is, none of my videos, none of them are on time. None of them are at, on real time. They're all just... Here and there and I never know when I'm gonna drop one but I got like four of them four ready to go anyways sorry that was totally annoying <laughs> that was like um, what do you call it what is that word obnoxious that's what that word is. But I love squeezing these, man. It's like, it's just a good thing. All right, guys. Anyways, in the past, I have come on here and have asked everybody to support freedom. Because you know what? Um, we're losing sight. We're losing sight. We're at the point where we're censoring people who have a different opinion than you do. You know, we are expelling people who have your best interest. Um, I mean, look at, look at the price of gasoline right now. It's just going up. You know, nobody wants that. Nobody wants that. You know, there's a, there's a right way and a wrong way to do things. And as a liberal Democrat right now, we are just on the wrong path, okay? And uh, y'all need to stop the violence. Y'all need to stop the death threats. Okay? Y'all, the violence has to stop. You know. Because you have become the monster that you said you're fighting against. You're, you're gone. You're a mad dog. You've lost it. Okay? And you people wanting to be ravenous about censorship. And people wanting censorship. Just because 
right now, for the first time in history, the Republicans actually have the better argument. You know, this shows that you play sides. This shows that you don't have anybody's best interest in mind. This shows that you are willing to put other people in danger, take their lives, to what, win an argument? And the thing is, is freedom should always come first. Freedom. All of us being able to have a discussion should come first. I'm not about hate. I'm not about oppression. You know, my body, my choice. I've always been pro, pro-choice. pro I've always been um, pro, you know, marriage equality. I believe in the welfare system. I believe in the theory of, of evolution. And yeah, I, I believe that the Lord made that theory of evolution happen. That's me. This is where a lot of Christians get it twisted. You know, they, they just want to argue with evolution just to be arguing with evolution okay but it was the lord that made it happen okay um and if you're all smart you would get on that you would be aboard on that you know definitely you know we want evolution you know because we're gonna go from here to whatever creature you know the lord wants us to be as simple as that um but we need to be free first and foremost and right now, what you're doing is you're empowering a bunch of tyrants. You're empowering a bunch of dictators. You don't see it right now because you're blinding your madness. Because you have become the monster you promised to fight. You know, instead of burning down buildings, go to the forest, clean it up. Go to the ocean, clean it up. You want to fight climate change? Go to India, go to uh, China, clean up. Plant more trees. You know, plant more trees. It's that simple. Plant more trees. Clean up and plant more trees. I can't stress enough. You know, being being a liberal Democrat, how far gone the left is. I'm sitting here, I'm like, what happened? They're so blinded by hate. They're the ones perpetrating all these hate crimes and then pointing the fingers at the right. And me, what I learned from the atheist, this is what I learned from the atheist. It's got to be about facts, evidence, critical thinking, logic. Okay, that's what it's about. And when you, when big tech censures us, when they tell us, you know, that we can't make arguments against, against their beliefs, against their box, or we have to, you know, um, be somewhere else or whatever, you know, I mean, it's just wrong. We should all be able to speak, all of us, on every side. And if you're for information, legitimate information, if you're if you're against people lying to you, if you're against people misinforming you, you know, then you need to step back, look at both sides, read both sides, listen to both sides. And then figure out for yourself what you truly want, okay? I've seen too many videos where, you know, they ask the people on the left, and they're all, well, you know, they're all in agree agreements with, with certain stuff. And then that person tells them, well, that's everything that the person on the right wants. They're like, oh, well, well, we don't want it anyway. Blah, 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 blah. You know, because it, it shows, you know, that you're just playing sides. It's easy to see you're just playing sides, Okay. Let's, one, be peaceful. Two, be intellectual. Let's be intellectuals. Not freaking vandals. Not freaking terrorists. Let's be intellectuals. Let's bring back intelligence. Let's bring back um, conversation. Let's bring back, you know, where 
when someone you know has information they change their opinion based upon that information let's bring back where you know you have the right to say whatever you're going to say and even though i don't agree with you i will defend to the death your right to say whatever it is that you're saying because it's about freedom there's there's no there's no reason for us not to be free okay and what is all this government regulation you know without freedom it's nothing there's nothing okay anyways i better drink this and we'll close off with that remember freedom if you defend the constitution the constitution will defend you okay if you don't see why we have good reason to have firearms then you don't understand history if you don't see why why we should have free speech then you don't understand history if you don't understand why we should have privacy then you don't understand history if you don't understand why why women should have the right to choose you know between having a baby and not having a baby then you don't understand history if you don't understand you know why people need welfare then you don't understand history and you should never change exchange one right for another right because you know what this is what the politicians do they divide us while they rob the bank they divide us while they oppress us and every time that you don't defend the constitution you're empowering and enable and enabling these tyrants to take away one your resources two your freedom three your rights you know i tell people on the right if you don't like an abortion don't get one if you don't like you know people marrying who they love then then don't get married and i tell people on the left you know what if if you don't like the fact that that people you know want to buy a freaking ak-47 with a freaking laser light rocket launcher freaking telescope on it then, then don't buy one it's that simple but never exchange your rights don't don't play sides man use common sense empower yourself all your rights all your rights don't give some away just to try and keep others what you do instead is you unelect those politicians who are dividing the country who are dividing you and me instead they should be uniting us we should have all of our rights intact every man should be able to decorate his body any way he wants every woman should be able to decorate her body any way she wants it doesn't matter how he dresses it doesn't matter how she dresses you know and this is a long time coming because i've had videos where i question things and i still have questions but you know what homeboy over there he should dress any way he wants if he thinks he's napoleon dynamite you know what dynamite man he's napoleon dynamite i don't give a crap what do i care she wants to do whatever she wants what do i care you know what but while you're over there on the left don't don't give up your rights to a firearm okay research history and find out why you're gonna need that firearm man you know the government should always be afraid of its people the people should never be afraid of its government okay and right now they're doing a great job of dividing us while they rob the bank okay while they keep themselves in power and i can't say too much because you know what i'm gonna lose my channel when I do, come find me on Rumble. I'll put a link down in the description. Yeah. All right. Peace. I'm out. No, not yet. Here, drink this. Or is it? It's not done yet, is it? Okay. I'm going to drink this real quick.